Hey, this is Chris, and in this video, I'll show you how you can display your Power BI dashboards and reports on digital signage screens with Fugo. We've got two ways to do this. The first is with our native Power BI integration, found in the Fugo App Store. The app allows you to log into your Power BI account from Fugo CMS and load data directly onto your screen or media player for real-time data streaming. The second way is with our TV dashboards feature, which also allows you to log into your Power BI dashboard from Fugo CMS, but create a script to log in and take screenshots of your dashboard to send to connected screens. This option is handy if you're working with less powerful screens or players that struggle to load live data. But we're gonna walk you through both options. So let's get started. First, sign up or log into your Fugo account. Then head to the dashboards page and create a new dashboard. Now to configure the Power BI app, choose the Power BI option. This will launch the app on a new canvas in the design studio. Click authorize and enter your login details to connect to your account. You'll need to grant Fugo access to your account data. Then once you're logged in, choose the dashboard or report that you want to display and give it a second to load onto your canvas you'll find some optional app settings in the left-hand panel for page view and scrolling, which are helpful for displaying long or crowded dashboards. You can also customize the look and feel of your dashboard display with the studio tools. Check out the one I've made here by adding apps for the local time and news that are customized with my company branding. Then, when you're happy with your content, name and save it. Now you're ready to add it to a playlist to be scheduled or published on your screen immediately. Skip to the timestamp right here to see how that's done. Now, let's look at how to connect a Power BI dashboard with the TV dashboards feature. You'll start the same way you did before by creating a new dashboard, but this time you'll paste the URL of your Power BI dashboard into the field and click go. If this is your first time creating a dashboard, you'll be shown prompts to install a free Chrome browser extension, which will allow Fugo to record your login steps so it can reproduce them later in order to access and display your dashboard. You'll also need to enable the extension to run in incognito mode so that any existing cookies or browser sessions don't interfere with your recording. Once that's done, the Power BI login page will open in Fugo's step recorder. Sign into your account as usual. Now, you should be logged in and looking at your dashboard. This is the point where you'll direct Fugo how to take the screenshot of your dashboard page. You can hit Capture Dashboard right away if you're happy with this view. Or to optimize your dashboard screenshot, you've got a few options. First, you can use the eraser tool to delete elements, getting rid of all of those extra navigation panels and such crowding your viewpoint. Once you've cleaned up your view, click finish erasing, then capture dashboard to take the screenshot. Alternatively, you can use the element screenshot option to take a screenshot of just one element on your dashboard that you want to display, such as a particular chart or portion of your report. Back to Fugo, you'll be prompted to enter something called a secret key. This is an alphanumeric code you'll get from your Microsoft account that essentially allows Fugo to act as a 2FA authenticator into your account. Now, if this sounds complex, don't worry. We have instructions for how to get this secret key and how to set up 2FA with Fugo dashboards in our help center. So now, while your dashboard preview loads, Fugo's reproducing the steps you took during your recording to fetch your dashboard screenshot and securely encrypt them in an AWS Secrets Manager. Depending on what plan you subscribe to, you have a few options for changing the refresh interval of your dashboard. That is how often you want Fugo to go and take a new screenshot to send to your screen. You can also check out the advanced settings tab here for some options to make your dashboard more stable and screen friendly. Then once your dashboard is saved, you are ready to add it to a playlist and push it to your screen. Save it if you're not ready to publish it just yet. You can always do so from the playlist page 
or click publish to push it to your screen right now. First, choose the screen you want your dashboard to be displayed on. Then choose select content and go find your dashboard. My dashboard is already added to my playlist, but you can always find it if you use the Power BI app in the Design Studio. You'll find it in your studio content library. You can also fill your playlist with additional media, studio content, apps, and dashboards. You can even configure the Power BI app directly from the playlist builder. Then, when you're happy with the content in your playlist, hit publish to send it to your screen immediately or use a scheduler to get more precise about when your playlist is scheduled to run. Well, that's it for this demo. Head over to our website to get started with a free trial or check out our help center for more guidance using Fugo.